Hello everyone, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is Robin and thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. I really appreciate it. So today we are going to be doing a weekly energy reading for June 7th through to June 13th. I am just waking up, not even fully dressed, and uh, I'm having my coffee with you guys. So what a great way to start off my morning, okay? Getting this out a little bit early as I like to and I'm actually going to do some automatic writing today. Um, so starting on June 10th through to, uh, sorry, June 7th to 10th, I'm doing a forgiveness week on all of my Instagram, Facebook and I'm going to be coming on at 3 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time on YouTube right here so that we can um, focus on forgiveness. So 3 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, okay? That's going to be like free readings, healings, just whatever comes to me each day. I think it's going to be a really powerful week. So first thing that comes up on Monday, let's just see what comes up here. And just breathe if you're okay with it while we're coming in. So this is going to be for the 7th. Okay, I got the message jewelry. Okay, and so jewelry could mean lots of different things, but I'm kind of getting... It's how we are treating ourselves. Are you buying yourself stuff? Are you being creative? Um, so I'm getting also that we need to have more of a release on Monday. So uh, for myself, I make jewelry. So I look at that as, okay, doing something that, that allows you to, you know, be creative, get out of your head. Um, it'll help you financially as well if you're really passionate about what you're doing. Um, so again pay close attention to um, your purpose as well. I'm getting that there's some people that might feel a bit lost. So on Monday, really focus on releasing and connecting to your purpose. All right. Um, I feel like I have to go quickly because my battery might die on me. Okay. Tuesday's energy. Positive equals love, I'm getting here. And again, feel free to just take a couple deep breaths with me, holding space for each other here. <sighs> okay, so positive equals um, love means to um, keep your energy up as high as you possibly can, okay? Um, sometimes when our energy gets low, we can start getting more annoyed with other people. We can get a bit more frustrated with ourselves. So Tuesday, amp up the energy focus on um, things that you are grateful for. It might still be related to that passion and that purpose. Just keep feeding yourself with um, what gives you inspiration. Um, people who um, people who like, like to do the same things as you. Um, so like people you admire, it'd be great to really just do a day's work of, you know, who can I follow that I'm inspired by even just online, okay? Okay, Wednesday. We need encouragement on Wednesday. I wrote down crushing it, okay? So it's like we need to feed ourselves with good energy, good food, good healthy habits. We're coming into our new moon energy, which is actually really positive. I'm getting that we need to focus on joy a bit more. And when it comes to things like sugar, you might find you don't want as much sugar, but if you are craving sugar, to just trust that, that it's okay. Our whole theme is just telling us to kind of reward ourselves. A lot of inner child um, womb work, things like that, which, which makes sense why I was wanting to work on forgiveness, because that is all about inner child. And when I say womb work, sometimes that's like family, relationships, things like that. So Thursday... Peace needed. Peace needed on Thursday. Okay. Um, so I would encourage more like nature walks, sitting in um, silence, um, sitting near a brook or a river, something like that. More um, showers and baths, uh, more crystal healing. I might do a crystal reading on Thursday. Um, but it's definitely like finding out where, if you feel like you're lacking in a certain area, it might be a great time to get Theta Healing with me. I am doing Theta Healing downloads here on my YouTube channel, so be sure you're saying yes to those. Um, and you can go into robinshealing.com and book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, which sounds like Thursday would be perfect for that. Again, take a couple few breaths if you can. <clears throat> 
Okay, let's go into Friday. Um, it feels like it's a great day for receiving. I wrote down teach us. So that means to, for people that want to learn, that want to change, it's going to be a great day for opening up your heart. Um, also having friends over, opening up your home to others, um, being more accommodating. Again, appreciation is coming up as well. Um, so just be open to receiving. And of course, if you're open to receiving, you're more likely to, to be more compassionate in general, okay? So let go of any heaviness that you can on Friday. Okay. Going with flow comes up on Saturday. So there's this need to um, trust in the universe a bit more. There's this need to let go of a fight or flight mode. So that means doing more breath work. It might be actually swimming or yoga, any type of exercise, maybe running on Saturday. Um, also doing more like prayer, positive thinking would be helpful. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a couple breaths here again. All right. I wrote the word peaches and peaches to me, um, right away I get kind of like the energy of an animal, the importance of um, the love that animals have for us, that they tend to just heal us with their presence. So it's kind of like um, encouraging your own spiritual growth to um, be near things that, that light you up, be near things that warm your heart, that sort of thing. So our whole week is kind of um, telling us to, to teach her teach ourselves to, you know, be kind and, and be loving and thoughtful. Okay, so this is your weekly reading. Very interesting. And um, I am teaching a Reiki level three on Sunday, June 6th. If you're catching this early and you'd like to join us, it's $147. So that's uh, pretty great from 12 to 2.45. And uh, also if you're interested in a retreat, and you're in the local area, I have one coming up on September 4th and 5th. Take care, love you all, and have a great week.